Neighbor? Neighbor? Oh, there you are! What are you- What are you doing on the fence? Did you get stuck? Oh, that's perfect, actually. Do I still have, uh, my umbrella? Yeah, okay. No, I'm coming down to you. Don't worry, buddy. I'm on the way. Just, just, just hang out right there. There we- No, no, no! What? What's up guys and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. Now since last episode, I've spent a little bit of time roaming around the neighbor's house. I haven't actually accomplished anything, so you guys haven't missed out, but I wanted to take a look at all the new rooms and new puzzles and try to really formulate a plan for this video. I have some idea what I need to do, but it's important to do that now because this update is massive. It is so complicated, it could easily take a dozen episodes to cover, and I really don't want that to be the case. I've never wanted to milk Hello Neighbor for views, just spreading it across a ton of videos. I want to show you guys as much as possible in an episode, so I'm not going to waste any time. But before we get to that, you guys have been telling me in the comments that apparently we missed a new YouTuber Easter egg in the protagonist's fridge. A very important YouTuber now has an Easter egg in here, Captain Salsa. Who's Captain Salsa? Did I miss some kind of memo? Am I gonna have to sue somebody for trademark infringement? Why would Tiny Build recognize this Captain Salsa and not me? Okay, I'm joking. I, I know this is for me. How freaking cool is that? I have my own YouTuber Easter egg now. It's the same font and colors and it's got my little dude on it. Oh man, it looks fantastic. I wish it could be part of a puzzle. But I know that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, I'm gonna keep it in the fridge because I don't want it to go bad. You could just hang out there. I love that I have one in the protagonist's house. Well, the protagonist has a bathroom. I never even thought to check around his house. Yeah, because uh, nobody else has one here, right? Also, you guys were telling me that I need to freeze his globe. Apparently, if I put the globe in the freezer, that'll do something. And if it freezes, I can use it to freeze the water. I think I have an idea where I need to put it. It looks like there's a globe stand in the middle of the neighbor's weird open access living room right there. So if this actually does freeze, cool. Okay, okay, hold on. So before we do that, I wanna check around my house because I haven't actually spent any time doing this. And I think somebody said that, uh, oh yeah, there's a switch behind my house. What this does? Uh, I don't know. What would what would that do? Did something change? Is there something different in my home now? Uh, is Captain Salsa still there? Yep, he's still good. Hmm. I don't know what that switch does exactly, but it's there. Good to know. Okay, so let's get the frozen globe. I'm gonna assume that this thing is gonna thaw out if I'm not quick. So we're gonna close the fridge because we don't have salsa to go bad. And then we need to make our way up there, which is probably fastest by going through the blue locked door across from that, right? So, ooh, uh, looks like the cameras are back up and running. Good for neighbor. We go over here and up around here. It should be, yes, this one, this one, this one, okay. It I assume it can go here, right? That's not an upside down table, that is, I don't know. I didn't hear anything, okay. Let's go check on the water, maybe that did something. I'm gonna have to go down here and then there's my window breaking kettle. Got there, should be able to take the elevator, straight, there's the elevator. Should be able to take this straight up to the top floor and then the water might be frozen. Again, this is what people have told me from the comments and from my observing in between episodes. I don't know if any of this is actually gonna pan out. Hmm. Nope, we still have water here. Did the globe thaw out? I don't know. Even if it didn't work, I still think we're right because the only tip that we have in that water room is a picture of a frozen map which seems pretty clear that you need to freeze a globe, right? That's the only thing I can think of. So maybe I put it in the holster wrong, or I need to put it somewhere else, or I wasn't fast enough. I have no idea. Either way, we have another frozen globe, gotta close the fridge, and then we are off to the races again. So I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna take the most direct route possible. 
right? I, I don't know where the neighbor is. I'm triggering a lot of cameras and running around the house very loudly, and I'm not seeing or hearing him. Okay, you go there, right? Still frozen. So now we're gonna go down, and then down, and then straight over here. This is the quickest possible route. If it doesn't work, it's not a matter of time. It's clearly gotta be something else, because there was no way I could have gotten here any quicker. Oh, it worked! <gasps> oh, man! Yeah, you see? Frozen globe. It's a great hint. Okay, so why am I am I here? Oh, do I have a limited amount of time? Is that why there's a clock? Uh, uh, okay, I can I can parkour on this stuff now. Can I take this? Oh wait, that, I think I can take that. Did I just see that? Yeah. Why do I? That's the only reason I came here was to get a gramophone. Ooh, I don't want to sync with the gram. What's what's the gramophone? Weird. It plays the neighbor is chasing you music. Why? Now, I don't want to say that there is a second Captain Sauce Easter egg, but there is a lot of tomato plants growing all over the place, and I don't really know why. They seem to be blocking some kind of door. I want to get to that door, so I need to get a way to get rid of them. Like a flamethrower or something like that. I wanted to see if we could find the neighbor to play the chasing music for him, but I can't find him. I don't know where he is. I think my game might be broken for better or worse because he has just completely disappeared. So... There's another gramophone over there. Ooh, maybe I need to collect all the gramophones? Are they like... Pokemon? Ooh, okay, okay. So we have the red one. And now we also have a green one. Oh, this one plays nice music. It's like the introduction. So that one's nice music green, red music bad. Okay. So we have two gramophones now. What do I use them on? What's in here? Uh, where am I right now? I'm somewhere deep in the house. Oh, it's the day-night room. I wonder what the Easter egg in here is now, because it used to be August something or other when the beta was coming out, I thought, or the Xbox version or something like that, and a couple other random little Easter eggs. Now, uh, I assume there's a day door behind that as well. Okay, we can try to get that done eventually. Oh, neighbor? Neighbor, oh there you are! What are you, what are you doing on the fence? Did you get stuck? Oh, that's perfect actually. Do I still have uh, my umbrella? Yeah, okay. No, I'm coming down to you. Don't worry, buddy. I'm on the way. Just, just, just hang out right there. There we, no, no, no! What? I've tried to play both types of music for the neighbor now, and it turns out neither of them have any effect. The only real effect is that it's incredibly difficult to get the gramophones back after it resets you. This is new, right? Since when do they have a way for you to climb out this window? Okay, so maybe there's something of interest out here. We're just gonna burst that window and walk up through here. Let's us out on the roof. Interesting, interesting. So that's the attic that used to have the crowbar, and then over here, okay, so it uh, doesn't really lead you anywhere that interesting. Ah, crap, go away, neighbor, go away, go away, go away. Looks like the graveyard is back in front of the church, which is interesting. We still have Alpha 3 High School, or whatever it was called at the time over there. Uh, I'm not really seeing any other major differences with the city. Okay, let's not get hit by the train. Always want to keep an eye out. I will do a cheat episode eventually. I usually like to do it after I've beaten the game fairly, but, uh, oh, we're actually really close to getting on top of this. This is another thing that I need to figure out. All right, let's, uh, okay. So how do I get in here? I'm willing to bet, it's like I said at the end of the last episode, if I can turn this off, that's gonna give us the key card to get in the basement, which doesn't really help us all that much because we still need to get the powers from the minigame. So I need to do Fear Darkness, I need to do Fear School, I need to do Fear Supermarket for a second time because they've changed that. Um, the wire goes into this room. Can I get into this room, I wonder? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, let's see if we can get into that room another way. Oh, here we go. Okay, this might work. 
I'd say I can probably make this jump. Yeah, there we go. Oh, was I supposed to actually like open a gate to get in here? Screw that. All right, well, we're in. So the wire leads to a metal plate on the floor. Why? It's with the metal plate. This is a really interesting room though, right? Because I've spoken about this one, how it looks like a kid. How it looks like a kid's room. All right, I wonder is that thing still here? Yeah, it's still under there. Weird. Okay. I'm just having a bit of an epiphany, right? Because I talked about it in the first episode, that picture over in my house. It looks like a picture of this room without the metal plate there. Except it had a uh, guitar and a uh, skateboard, right? Had a skateboard, uh, like leaning up against stuff. What else did it have? Oh, I can't remember now. Um, it had a hat, maybe? Oh yeah, hat, there we go. Okay. Um, oh crap, I can't remember any of it. Was there a pillow? It was definitely an electric guitar. I don't see an electric guitar anywhere, so maybe I need to find that somewhere? Would there be one in here? Would that be too easy? Hmm. There has to be, oh, there was a flashlight. I remember that. Okay, so that went, uh, like, up here somewhere. Hmm. No electric guitar, though. Uh, so I would imagine that if I recreate this perfectly, it'll end up opening the... Wait a minute. New? 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 Oh, wait, it's open! It's open! No, don't, don't! Let me die! Oh, crap! It worked, though! I didn't... Yeah, it's, it's this. I recreated it almost perfectly. I didn't put the pillow there, and I couldn't find an electric guitar, but I think it's, uh, open? Is it open? It looks, pr yeah, it looks pretty open now. There's a thing on the front that I can jump on. I think I can do this. So if we land right here, yeah, now you're off, which means the fridge should be off. So I should just be able to fall not to my death. And if all goes according to plan, the neighbor won't be here. And key cards, it's thawing. Okay, so we have our ticket stamped to the basement. Right, I already got all that stuff done. Wait, what? Why does it just, I never even thought to try. Why does it just open? I haven't actually used the key card. He's doing a really crap job. Okay, no, hold on. If I use the key card, does that change something? I'm so confused right now. Why did I try to get you at all? Okay, basement, I have a key card. There we go, now you're green and you open still. And if I, I can't lock you again. Onto the basement, even though it's like I said, it's not really gonna do anything because we need all of the, whoa. We need the powers, right? That's a different looking version of the, well, of the basement entirely, of the Shadow Boy? Yeah, there's definitely something going on over there, but we're not gonna be able to figure out what it is just yet because I can't actually do anything. I need the double jump, I need whatever other abilities you get, so I guess we can just open the door and leave. Really weird that all you need is the crowbar to get in the basement. Wish I had known that before the beginning of the episode. <laughs> so, now we got that out of the way. All we need to do are the three mini games and figure out what the hell the gramophones are for. I'm such an idiot. I literally picked up both gramophones, commented on the tomato plants, and then went about my merry way. I've been recording for an hour and a half and I never thought to put two and two together. If you put down the angry gramophone and you play the angry music, it makes them shrivel up in terror. So you can get past. I don't know why that makes any sense, but it works for me. So now we can get in here. Which leads to nothing. Oh, it leads somewhere. Okay. Uh, no, no, don't, don't, no, don't, don't worry. We want to go down there, protagonist. We, we gotta go. We have, uh, water. The light bulb. Which I can't take because I already got too much stuff in my inventory. Well, I don't think we're gonna need the key card ever. So, we'll take that. Light bulb. What do I need a light bulb for? And water. 
Um, maybe if I find that pipe outdoors, right? There's usually one hanging off the side of the building. If I, uh, turn the gasket, it might release all this water and then there'll be something down there. Weird. There's nothing else here, though, so clearly this is an important light bulb. We're gonna hold on to that. I might put it in my suitcase with the wrench and all of the other important things that I found that I have no idea what are used for. So, now I should try to get on the roof. Where are you throwing glue at me for? Whoa, 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 whoa. Since when can you... Whoa, what the? Why are you so aggressive? See you later. No, I'm gonna marry Poppins my way out of here. So it looks like the game has screwed me over a little bit. There used to be like a hundred boxes here. They were blocking all of that way. I had them stacked up so that we could get in there because that leads to the electromagnet. Now all of the furniture, all of the boxes, everything has disappeared. I can't get up there. I'm gonna have to go downstairs and get stuff and bring it up here to build. But it also means that I can't stop the train right here and then build up in front of it and climb and climb. It's not gonna work. So, I need to try something else, and what I'm thinking is, if I go over here, when the train passes by, I might be able to jump on top of it and ride it over to the roof? I think that's my best bet. Is now a good time to mention that I have no idea if this is gonna let me on top of it, or if it's just gonna break my bones? Oh! Nailed it! Okay, so now I can... I'm on the roof. Oh, thank God! That's way easier than jumping on that stupid pipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Why does he have a giant tomato plantation up here? Oh, wait, it doesn't matter, right? I still have angry gramophone. Yeah, screw you guys. I'm just, uh... Oh my god, I can walk with it. Can I chase the neighbor with this now? <laughs> That'd be so good. Get out of here, plant. Get, get off my roof. I need to get, oh, I need to break it with something, though. I don't have anything that I want to throw in there. Uh, is it shrinking the trees? No, I think they're just moving back and forth in the wind. I was going to say, those are some very sensitive trees out there. Uh, yeah, I should be able to throw, I don't know, an umbrella or something. We'll figure it out. Why didn't I think of that beforehand? What is all this? You can actually get up there now. You had to cheat to get up there before, right? Ooh. Okay, maybe there'll be something up there for me to throw in here. So, you you stop. What's going on up here? Ooh, don't kill me. Okay. No, we're good. Cool. Could not get up here before. Still, still can't get up here. Okay, we'll go around this way. Careful. Oh, yeah! And you can actually jump to... Get over there without cheating now as well. They moved it closer to the house. I noticed that. Why is there a, a bearskin rug? That's the kind of thing that we're going to answer with a cheating episode because I'm not doing all this the fair way. Oh, wait. I can't climb up here. On the other side of the... Oh, don't tell me I need to jump. Wait, no. I just climb up like this. I'm stupid. Okay. So this is where the intro happened and the neighbor was freaking out and praying or something like that. Okay, so why did it want me to get up here? It must just be to make that jump, right? I'm not making that jump right now. I want to get the key. I don't know if an umbrella is going to fit. I really hope I can find another one, but I can't lose the gramophones if they're going to be important to the actual... Whoa, whoa, what? Are you kidding me right now? You keep playing unless I turn you off? <laughs> not okay. All right, just, just go. There we go. We got there. All right, so now I just need to get down without breaking my legs and we'll be fine. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Hello Neighbor, guys. I still have no idea how to get the red key. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. There are a couple of rooms that I've seen that I haven't really been able to answer yet, but if you guys wanna give me some hints, I would definitely appreciate it. And I can't even get the green key right now because the game screwed me. I'm gonna have to go downstairs and get boxes, bring them up and stack them. Go downstairs, get more boxes, bring them up and stack them. But we have all of the puzzles sorted out. So hopefully we made enough progress and next episode, we get to check out New Fear Darkness, New Fear School, the New Fear Shopping whatever it is, and then the entire basement because we have the door unlocked. So it's going to be a weird fear-filled episode. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.